welcome to my youtube channel hope you are doing well and taking care of yourself i am doing fine i am doing well and i'm happy all the time so guys if you haven't subscribed please just subscribe like share and comment and if you are new here make sure you feel at home and i know you are going to fall in love in this channel and if you have already subscribed please I want to say thank you so much you mean a lot i love your support i want to say thank you for your support and i appreciate let's keep subscribing kindly please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe so that neza patahao subscribers so guys if you don't know me i go by the name christina Re, and this is my youtube channel in this channel we talk about our life experience i talk about our relationship i talk about my experience with friends and i cook sometimes i have fun so guys today's topic i want to talk about my worst day in life so it was on a sunday last week the 15th on may i had an appointment with my tendist but hey guys, if you don't know me, niko na shida ya meno and e meno iko ngi yanko. So most of the most of the time niki just get to badilisha na badilisha. When I feel uncomfortable with it, neza badilisha. So it happened in March. Siko na Filipino na meno, but they kuna karfu fulani inatoa. And you know guys, mimi ni msichana na ongea na watu so si poa kukuwa na karufu fulani so i docked with my attendant akani pangia my appointment on date 15 may so as usual ilikuwa on a sunday on a sunday i wake up early in the morning lazima ni kunywe chai mostly on a sunday i take coffee not tea mostly on a sunday i take co coffee with dust bread but on a Sunday, like when I get in the kitchen, I got confused. Nika nika chukua normal tea. I didn't take toast bread. Nika chukua my eye. And guys, let me remind you. My doctor told me nisi kwena kula my eye. But I get confused. Nika kula my eye. So, kasi maso ni me kula. Waja, let me take a shower and prepare myself. And normally on a Sunday when I take tea after coffee, me wenda carrot kuangalia down there in the carrot kama like kuna uchafu ni toe. Our neighbors cut huwa wana kuja and then wana, wana chapale uchafu. I didn't get outside by the way. After I didn't open the door, I get confused. Not to do. <laughs> yeah. Forget about my accent. Me ni mluya. Sorry guys. So in the moment I got in the... Nika inda ju, nika take shower. So in the shower, I take long, long time. Like, what? Sija waika kwa bafu hivo, like, venye nileka last time. Hadi nika shindo, what is going on in my mind? I get confused every time. So me nika take shower, but I take long, long time. So after shower, nika ingia kwa room, nika nza kuchange. In the moment ya could change nguo, I realize there is a part of my body sikuosha vizuri. <laughs> Sika kama nani understand kuna part ya mwili yangu sikuosha vizuri nilisahau completely. So in the moment na chipa kama eh nikakumbuka wa mbona sijaosha hapa? Can I go and see wash it again? Then nikasema hata sipatani na boy like I'm not going to meet my boyfriend so hakuna haja ya kuosha vizuri. Acha tunikai. Then by that time, kuna mtu already amingi ya shower. So, singienda kubisha tena atoke, ni malizi ya kuoka. So, mini kadress up. But in the moment of dressing, tena nika take time. I don't know what was going on in my mind, but it took so many time, more than 30 minutes. So, the time I get outside, okay, let me remind you guys, nili amuka around 5.30. No yu mtu anaoka ameamuka around 10 or 9 hapo. Mimi ida imiote siju ni kwa nafanya nini. I was taking time in the shower. I was taking time to dress up. So you don't know what's going on in my mind. So in the moment ya kuva ni kamaliza kuva. It was around 10.30. Yeah. 
1030 i'm done with raising up so huyu mtu alikuwa anaoga au watu wote tu like they were ready they were taking breakfast then remember au watu walichipikia chai tea it takes time by the way so au watu wakamaliza wakaenda carriage wakaangalia uchafu wakatoa i'm just still in my room i'm not even ready sijava bia to java socks but ngoonishava Nene waka kuja kanibishia hey Christina are you there I said yes so akaniambia we are leaving hope tunaenda na wewe ama unaenda peke yako so kuna gari by the way kuna gari so they ask me kama watanibeba ama i will go like on my so nikamwambia ah niende ni mimi nita nitaenda peke yangu kwa sababu okay let me tell you guys kwa sababu Mbona ni refuse kwenda na hao? It's because nilikuwa naongea na kijana mwingine our neighbor, si neighbor. Kwa hiyo ni far from our place but ni place zina za walk, tupatane ne, before ni fike stage. So tulikuwa tunaongea na huyu kijana tupatane kwao kwa gate. Na si kutaka wani drop kwao ndio waone kijana naongea na naye. Okay, he's, he's just to a friend, he's just a friend. So, mimi in the moment nimemaliza nime nime text jamaa I'm coming. Remember nilikuwa nimsalimie ndio nini ndio kwa my tendency. So nika left nyumba. Au waka like nikawaacha by the way wa parking wanapanguza gari kwanza before wa lift. Like tuliachana na 5 minutes. Mimi nikatoka nikaishi yani nilikuwa narakisha miguu kutembea. Nikafika kwa main gate. I didn't see a motorbike and I wanted to nichuke motorbike nifike kwa jamaa haraka and then motorbike in the stage tena. So in the moment I didn't get a motorbike ikabidi nimetembea. So kutembea kufika kwa kina huyu jamaa kwa gate nikaona gari yenye nimeanza home inakuja. Hey nikakimbia nika height some yenye kambi hiyo so je hebu nifije staki hiyo gari inione. So sija kanifija but he didn't feel comfortable kunifija akaniuliza kwa nini ama kuna shida but I told him no hakuna shida but nile tu staki wanione I didn't feel comfortable so guys in a moment mimi nika call jamani kamwambia hey niko hapa kwenu so they'll the soldier to allow me to come in the, the guy told me already nimetoka nimeenda so tutapatana next time of like bro umenitoa kwa nyumba mbio Umetoa mbio sijabebwa na gari natumia fa yangu kwenda pale naenda. Mbona unifanyie hivi? He said mamake alimuita haraka aende gym. Gari yao imepata shida kwa barabara so he went to fix. Sasa mimi ikabidi si gari imepita ikabidi ningoje motorbike in the stage. Guys, as usual from where I was kwenda stage we normally go with um 50 shillings. Then he came on the bike he came to me he came Then I asked the guy how much mostly na jonga price but most of the time is a must I ask because how what ugeuka at the last moment ona kwambia oh it was 200 like inatakemea wanakuangalia penye penye umetoka yani penye amekutoa nafikiria hiyo nyumba hiyo apartment ni yenu so that yani anaona umetoka place mzuri so hata ku judge so kwa sababu nilikuwa kwa place ya kina huyo boy hiyo nyumba ilikuwa inaka vizuri angefikiria hiyo nyumba ni yetu <laughs> so in the moment si mimi huyo mzee akanipeleka stage i asked the guy akasema 50 bob mimi kufika stage nikampea 100 shillings so he supposed to keep me just 50 bob the guy refused walai akakatalia pesa zangu akaniambia listen my daughter i'm not giving you pesa it's either i read a new pack ama scoopy change na uende You know niko stage kuna wazee wengi like hata au, au boda wengine hawezi nitetea waseme oh wewe msichana tunamjua wanga tunabeba hii distance na 50 bob but hawaku hawaku nisaidia so I said okay 50 bob peke mimi sitashinda hapa nikibishana na wewe so mimi nikaingia kwa gari gari inaenda tao ya went in a car nilinga gari inaitwa rembo kwa hivyo mtatoa bali natoka <laughs> Anyway. So, smini kai ya gari rembo nikaenda a town. I was going to town. So, nikaenda tao. Si kufika tao, but nilimwambia anishukishe where. Nilimwambia na shuka wapi? Nyayo. Then in the mat, the mama makanga, makanga wanaitwa the conductor. 
Conductor alikuwa anaitisha pesa baada kabla nyingine I ask him how much niliambiwa ni 50 bob hadi nyayo mm. simi nikaka 50 bob in a process kwenda then nika realize niko tu na 50 bob peke sina pesa nyingine like eh. nika nikauliza makanga can i send you mpesa akasema sawa si the guy akanipea simu yake nikamwekea 50 bob kwa simu Guys, guess what? So tukaenda enda jamaa kaniuliza pesa nikaambia nimekutumia kwa simu nikamwonyesha message but he refused that. Jina ni yake pesa hazijaenda. So akani force like akaanza kunirushanisha tu ananisukuma tu kwa gari in a moving car. Bro, nimekaa but yani ni ile tu kusukumana and you know I'm scared in a moving car. So nikaona eh mimi sitabishana na huyu nikamongeza 50 bob. Ndio nimeamba kwa hii gari kuna watu wengi. People were looking at me. In fact watu waliniona nikilipa pesa but mtu hawezi sema tumekuona ukilipa muache. People were looking at me like oh. Mimi nikampe ile 50 bob nilikuwa nayo kwa mfuko. Ili story fanyaje ishe nikamwambia please niweke pale nyayo. Sawa jamaa kaniweka nyayo. Then si nikatembea nilikuwa bado tendist anaishi Rongai. So nilikuwa naenda stage nichukue gari ya Rongai nifanyaje niende Ronga. Kupika pale the makanga wa Rongai wakanikujia. Hey msichana unaenda? I told him I'm going to Rongai. Nikamwambia stage nda shukia. They ask the guy how much. The guy said 50 bob. So ikabidi niende ni withdraw pesa ju sina at all sina ju pesa nimetumia huku. I'm paying extra. Nikatoa pesa ni withdraw 200 if I'm not wrong. Yes, it was 200. Nikaingia kwa gari. Niliomba change by then nikapewa 100 mbili. Si nikaingia kwa gari ya Rongai. Tukaenda, tukaenda. Then the guy nikampea pesa. It's 100. Kila mtu alikuwa analipa 50 because si fail ilikuwa 50 bob mimi nikampa 100 nikaitisha change guys uja maana niambia usiniharakishe bro change niko karibu kushuka change usiniharakishe okay si mimi nikashumu tu okay nitamuliza change nikishuka guys nilishuka nikauliza huyu jamaa change yangu akani yani akanisukumanisha tu like um, kwanza wewe ulinipea 50 bob hakuna haja ya kukulipa change change gani tena na umenipea 50 bob I was like Am I mad? Ama akili yangu ndio haisunguki vizuri. What's wrong with my mind? I was asking myself so many questions. What's what's going on in my mind? Guys, things were not going as I was planned. Hey, this things were going south and I was going north. I think my mind was not okay at that time. I didn't protect myself. So jamaa kan sikumanisha huko ni nini ni, but you know you know girls mimi akiwalai sipendi kupishana na mtu. Ukiniambia no I go. Sina kuacha tu mimi naenda because this is not my car. Umeandikwa pia uko job so I don't know what's wrong with you and mimi nikamwambia do nikaenda kwa mtu my tendist guys nikafika kwa tendist it was around 11:30 by that time it was 11:30 nikafika kwa tendist remember nilikuwa na chat na tendist hey i'm coming anasema okay you know mimi naweza call tendist but yeye yeah, hawezi ni call ni call juu simu yangu ingiangi new number sijam self but i'm sorry i'm sorry tendist simu yangu ingiangi new number so i can call him but yeah, he hawezi ni call so we were chatting Hey, I'm coming. Si nikafika kwa tendist, nikapata na watu wawili hivi. Nikakaa ni line. By that time nilikaa, nilikaa and then the boss came. Boss wa tendist akaniona akasema, "Hi, umekuja? Meno ikaje nini nini?" And most of the time when the boss came, huangana like ananipitisha anasema, "Hey, let's Christina be first." Kila wakati nikienda, hii miaka yote nimekuwa na tendist since 2017. Sijawahi kwa kwa line more than 5 minutes even 2 minutes nikifika hivi the boss said Christina come in like yani nimekuwa customer you know that customer yani wananishikilianga juu na I'm the best customer so the boss didn't say anything like Christina come in eh mimi nikashindwa hapa kunaendaje 
Si nikaachili na ngoja time yangu. Watu wanaingia wakitoka. Wanaingia wakitoka. Ndede tendi kumbe ako na hosi nyingine somewhere. Hiyo na nyingine ako na appointment somewhere. But not far around hapo. So the guy akaitwa. Tendi si akaitwa aende kwa ile hosi. Akatuacha watu watatu. Juu watu walikuwa wanakuja wananipita. Watu walikuja wengi, like wengi wanakuja wakanipita. So mimi nika decide, he itabidi tu nimefumilia maybe walikuwa wamepea na appointment yangu bado then the guy vinyaliitwa akaenda akatuacha pale watu watatu then wengine wawili wakakuja wakanipata tumekaa tu remember guys sijakula lunch i time lunch imepita i'm just chilling tu kazi yangu na kunywa maji ya ndimu nimebeba maji yangu kwa chupa so nakunywa nikirelax so in the moment si nikaanza ku call send this hey are you still coming ana kaniambia 30 minutes okay 30 minutes ikaisha nikamcall hey are you still coming yes 10 minutes 10 minutes ikaisha the, the last minute nikamcall boss where are you are you coming i just feel comfortable and i'm like i'm so tired and i'm feeling unwell akaniambia okay kuna mtu nimetuma hapo awachukue awalete kwa hii clinic niko hiyo ingine imeharibika machine so you just came come this side. Si hiyo mtu akatuchukua tukaenda kwa ile clinic nyingine. So kufika kwa ingine, guys, guess what? Nilipata watu hivi. So in my mind, I like mimi nitapitishwa like Christina come wewe ulikuwa wa kwanza ni nini nini. This time nikienda kule imefika 4 PM pm nilifika 11 am ini 4 pm without lunch without anything in my stomach na kunywa tu maji ya lemon so for si mimi nikatulia nika hata sikuwa na kiti by the way watu wamejaa watu wameketi so tena walikuwa tu wanaume mimi ndio nilikuwa msichana nikasema mama pale kwa line tu then mtu nilikuwa naye akaniambia eh msichana aku umechoka since morning so nitakupitisha jueni msichana utaenda kwa nafasi yangu mimi nitaenda nyuma yako sawa so, said okay akaniambia okay, i'm really sorry umechoka so ni poa wewe utaenda mbele yangu anikasema haina shida tendi msichana ni jua mimi nitaingia jo natoka mbali by the way guys natoka mbali he nilika nasikia tu wanaita majina ingine ingine watu wanaingia so and so wanaingia ikafika 5:30 Nikabisha like nikabisha hey tendi yani nikaona ni kama amenisahau akanimeno Christina wait just wait outside i will call you 5:30 nafaa kuwa kwa nyumba 6 bro Na nilikuwa imagine guys let me remind you nilikuwa naongea na msichana anatoka ushago anakuja Nairobi job So huyu msichana ako almost kufika So lazima hiyo time ni kuwe tao ndio like asipotee yani akishuka kwa gari ni kwa kwanza kumchokoa. So nikaona eh 5:30 inaelekea 6 nikakaa 10 minutes kuisha. Jamaa kaita mtu mwingine eh ikabidi mimi nimeamka nimeenda. Like nikaenda sikufanywa check up ya meno sikubadilisha meno like hakuna kitu nilifanywa. Ikabidi nimechukua gari tena narudi. So nikaenda stage. I'm so mad. I'm not even seeing well. Like niko njaa nasikia kuanguka tu. Sisikii vizuri. I don't want even to talk. So mtu tu niliuliza ni makanga. Hii gari inapita jispeni njia ya Kenyatta napenda nyayo. Nikamuliza hii gari inapita nyayo he said yes. Mimi nikaingia gari. Tukaanza kwenda safari. So kitu nilifanya ni nikachukua um, my phone nikaweka kwa handbag and nilimur surprise by the way price ilikuwa 100 shillings nikachukua 100 shillings nikaweka kwa mkono hivi nikalala si mimi nimelala kwa gari obvious mimi ulala kwa matatu by the way so in the moment nimelala kulikuwa na mzee mwingine ameka hapo next to me yani mzee babu i think he's the age of my aki sinanga grand pa so siwezi linganisha na my grand pa but ni age ya like mzee like siwezi so mita mbaba mbaba mwenye mimi naweza hang out na ye. so they come there kaka hapo mimi nalala gari kifika kwa pump na shtuka na fungwa majoki dogo and then narudi kulala niko na 50 bob yangu guys 
in the moment of kwenda tujui tumepita tumepita pale kwa wild wild life hapo they come say slap to me like msaka niambia unashinda unalala nini mimi nikashtuka mbona unalala kwa gari mbona uko na stress stress nilikwambia usikwange na stress so mimi nikashinda mbona aliniambia tu kwani tunajuana sasa mzee venyali mchapa remember i was sitting karibu na kidirisha my 100 shillings is the rukas kaina na upepo maganga ajaitisha pesa so mimi venyali ni slap nikashtuka nilifikiria ni makanga anaitisha pesa as usual makanga huamsha mtu pole pole juu mimi nimesema kulala kwa gari most of the time makanga uniamsha pole pole na wapea pesa na endelea kulala so the gamze venye kalin slap pesa zangu zikaenda mimi nikamwangalia nikamuliza wewe unafanya akaniambia nakujua wewe ni wale wasijana mnafuatilia anga wa baba mnataka pesa za wa baba mimi hata kahawa sijauza sina pesa mbona unanitaka i was like mimi sikutaki babu tena akaslap ya pili mbona nimemuita babu then people were wondering what will if create like tuko pamoja sasa kuna pesa nataka then mse hataki kunipea so that's why they were not protecting me wameniangalia tu juu kuna watu walikuwa wamesimama pale was like sasa mimi nikaanza tu kulia nikalala hivi kwa kiti nikaanza kulia it was my worst experience so so after kulia mimi the kamse slept me again ya tatu nikamwambia by the way umen slap pesa zangu zimeenda na ilikuwa fair yangu mimi naenda mbali by the way i don't know you sijui ni nini una behave then mse told me na kujua wewe unapenda wa baba I'm like wewe wa baba hata you are not a type of my baba wewe si type yule mbaba naweza kimbilia unapanda matatu kwa mbaba wangu no mtu umeva grab alafu unaniambia napenda mbaba kama wewe how do you know how wa baba wenye napenda heri nipende mtu atanipeleka dubai then come to kata nitembeza rongai See like mimi nika have to nikaambia mtu ameka kwa kiti neck nikaambia tubadilishane kiti niende kwa kiti yake so that i can feel comfortable si mtu akaniruhusu nikaenda kwa kiti yake remember guys fa yangu imeenda so lazima nilipe tena makanga elewi makanga haelewi you know makanga ameona tu nikislapiwa how ni protect at all nikalipa another 100 sasa so, isa pare yangu imekuwa tu kulipa pesa kurudia. So mimi ni yani nikashum tu ju, kitu ilikuwa kwa mind simu yangu iko safe kwa handbag niko tu sawa slap haina neno. I'm just okay tukaenda. So nilikuwa na rush kitu ilifanya hata nitoke kwa chandist ali it's because of that girl from the village see she's new here in town so nimchukue akuja fanye kazi. Hey So mimi kufika tao juu nilijua nashukishwa pale afya senda. Juu nilimwambia tu ukifika afya senda hivi tulia tu pale na kuja. Then msichana by the way to me message akaniambia amefika. Mimi nikamuuliza uko ya hivyo. Nikafika afya senda nikampata. But nilimpata na mwanaume mwingine I'm like yo wait nikamuuliza hey sasa. So tunaenda si, nimeshika back nimemsaidia mziko ili tuchukue gari ya huku. Rembo sasa tu kuja. Tim sana kaniambia eh sindi na wewe huyu jamani nimepatana naye kwa gari na amesema ananipenda <laughs> sasa wewe ishia nda kuambia tutaongea kwa simu ndio umefika Nairobi ushaanza kupendana unaenda so mimi nikauliza jamaa unaenda wapi jamaa kaniambia wanaenda umoja but you know Siwezi fuatilia mtu maisha yake. Msichana alikuwa anaka she's older than me. So singekuwa tu like na mrule, na mrule kama nani? Ni msichana. So then the guy, eh nikaona wamependana, wameshikana mikono in town. So mimi kaambia okay, sawa, bye. Mimi nikaingia kwa gari sasa ya Rembo. Nikaingia kwa gari na kuja. Guys, nikiingia kwa gari niko peke yangu. Hakuna watu. Ju nilisimama pale ya kitu 30 minutes but kitu ilikuwa na inanipea wasiwasi ni ikifika 7 sitaona wallahi 
mi mwangaza uniumiza macho sioni naenda wapi at all nitakuwa naulizia ulizia tu tena naenda mali fulani like so hiyo ndio ilikuwa inanipea wasi wazi sikuwa nimebeba inspect zangu so we nilikuwa kwa wazi wazi wengine mingi sana so nikaingia kwa gari niko peke yangu hivi so gari by the ikatoka kutoka tukaelekea tukafika nyayo gari kasimama ikaanza kujaza remember nimelipa tena gari ilikuwa 50 bob nimelipa sikusimbuliwa so kufika nyayo gari kasimama ikaanza kujaza watu eh nika ka more than 10 minutes so nikaona gari nyingine imekuja iko na watu wengi like iko kuja nikaingia kwa hiyo gari nishalipa but nikaenda kwa gari nyingine wanaidisha tena 50 bob nikaingia tukaenda nikalipa so the moment tukaenda kufika kabanas tunaambiwa mwisho <laughs> Tena mwisho you know mimi siendi kabana sinapita tena ikabidi nimechukua gari nyingine niingie tena nalipa 50 bob so kuingia kwa hiyo gari nyingine tena ikaka kwa barabara guys kitu naokopa ni sitaona macho yangu itapotea so nikaingia kwa gari nikatuma kwanza message kwa nyumba hey na kufika late but aki munikujie tu munikujie tu kwa gate please please so seal it's too late so nikakuja nikapanda gari nyingine nikashuka nikachukua motorbike obvious motorbike ina kuanga 50 bob kama waja kujukua the other side of the road jua linachukua this side of the road around naiva supermarket so nikakuja obvious 50 bob nikauliza kwanza hiyo jamaa hey ni ngapi 50 bob tukakuja kukuja tena jamani as usual by the way pikipikus mami ya main gate but your time atakuwa na soja so nikaingia tukapita main gate nikaingia na motorbike ndani lokin so, ndani nikaambia huyo jamaa gate namba yenye naenda jamaa kanishukisha mimi nikitoa pesa jamaa kaniambia we msichana it's a hundred shillings i'm not giving you 50 bob eh mimi nikafikiria na joke jamaa akaniambia ni so msichana ni so tena akanishika hivi nguo akaniambia ni so nimekwambia ni so so at this moment like should I scream juu nimefika watu watoke kwa nyumba juu wakujele should I scream kama ni mpe pesa jamaa ananishika hivi remember kuna soja kule so hakuna mtu anginisaidia goes like nikamupaso akaishia mimi nikaingia kwa nyumba i'm so tired i have wasted my time I have wasted my day I have wasted my money nimeenda kwa attendant hakuna check up nimeenda kwa attendant hakuna meno nimepewa by the guys still have your meno sijabadilishwa meno still iko na kale karufu and one thing i had in my mind is oh, where did i go wrong I was asking myself so many questions. Nimekozea nini Mungu? Okay, it has been long since niende church. By the way, to be honest, nimeenda church kama mara mbili this year. Kama mara mingi it was early February, early January and Feb. Those are two times. Hii masa ingine nimekuwa tunaenda swimming, nenda out na wasichana. So I think God is banishing me. Because I wasn't expecting this thing to happen in my life. Mm? Sijawahi lipa fair double venye nimelipa. Normally mimi hata nikienda kwa barabara niambie mzee sina fair, watu ni beba for free. Nikifika kwa matatu namwambia hey boss sina ananiambia ah mbona ulipe msupa? Like let's go. But this time I had to think twice. I think God is banishing me. Sikumbuki mara ya mwisho nikiomba nikienda kulala. Sikumbuki mara ya mwisho nikiomba nikiamuka. So wow. It was the worst day. The worst experience. I lost my money. Lost my time. But I'm fine. That is the thing. I'm happy and I'm proud of myself is that I'm fine. I just arrived home safe. I didn't lost anything kama simu or handbag or meno like I'm just fine and comfortable but 
I'm just praying to God. Next time we can check up, things will be go well as planned. Because I don't want somebody out here to experience as I was in that situation. It was a nightmare to me. And even right now, I'm thinking about it. Hey, guys. Okay. And that's the end of the video. I don't want to cry. Mimi seemed to cool here, by the way. I'm just happy always. But this one is making me so emotional. But let me say thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. See you on the next video. Bye, guys.